Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polished. In this episode, we are going to be stamping these blue flowers on our nails. Yes. I'm going to be using the Paulina Passions collaboration with Bundle Monster Plate. It's six fifty on their website. I love these little flowers, and I haven't had the opportunity to use them yet. That's what I love about big stamping plates that have so many different designs. Is You can go back to that same plate over and over and over again and kind of discover a new thing that you haven't used yet. So after stamping it on the stamper, I'm taking a clear nail polish by Sally Henson, and I'm just laying it over and letting it dry. Once it's dry, I am taking three different shades of blue acrylic paint. You can use regular nail polish for this, but I am a slow painter, so I decided to use acrylic paint because it dries slower than regular nail polish does. I actually tried to do it with regular nail polish and it ended up drying up so quickly. I, I was like, oh my god, this is going so poorly. So I remembered that I had the acrylic paint and I just busted it out. Because it's not like I sit here painting, you know, works of art all day long. I also found a new, very short, very tiny little brush at Michael's. It was, I think, like $2. It was amazing. And I, I basically just ran through the brush aisle and found the smallest brush I could find. So we're going to paint our nails. Uh, I painted my pinky, index finger, and thumb with Porter Miami, which is part of the summer collection of Kale Polish. Next, I am painting my middle finger with Ski Patrol by Koki. And on my ring finger, I am going to paint Kale Polishes that's Das Expensive, but that one is limited edition and does not, or is not sold on the website anymore. So you can use any old glitter nail polish that you have. They, you know, just find a glitter that you like, throw it on there. I'm doing two coats of each of these. I just got this Ski Patrol one by Koki because Ipsy had um, another set of Koki nail polishes. It was six nail polishes for $15. It said it was a summer set. Um, I'm not sure if it was actually their summer collection or not. Let me know if you guys want to see swatches of them. Now I'm putting clear nail polish on my middle finger. I've already done my ring finger. And I put latex tape around the edges. And after letting the clear nail polish dry for about 30 seconds, I basically just put my finger on the stamper and let it pick up the decal of the flowers. Now I'm just going to cut around the edges with my cuticle pusher thingy. It's in rose gold. Do you see that? I found a rose gold cuticle pusher. I love it so much. It's beautiful. And now I'm going to top off the design with my Sedge Feet Fast Dry Top Coat. Here's the final result. I really love the look of stamping over glitter nail polish. It has such a beautiful, elegant, classy quality to it that is my favorite. And I kind of regret not painting both those fingers with the silver glitter. But that's all I have for you today, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.